Hello you little crafting cuties and welcome to my channel Fixing to Hillbilly. Today I'm making my first fall wreath of the season. Now my name's Melinda and I'm from West Virginia. So let's get started. Okay now the raffia there on top come from the Dollar Tree. I just put it in a Ziploc bag to, so it didn't get everywhere. The leaves come from the Dollar Tree. I may or may not use those. I haven't decided yet. These ribbons come from the Dollar Tree. You need six of those cut at 12 inches. Also the Dollar Tree, six at 12 inches. This particular uh, burgundy mesh come from Amazon. You're gonna need six of those cut at 12 inches. Now this different collar mesh come from the craft outlet. You're gonna need 18 of those cut at 17 inches. This mesh also come from craft outlet. You're gonna need 12 of those cut at 10 inches. The sign also came from craft outlet. I think I gave about $5.50 for that. And then of course our frame, it came from the Dollar Tree. Now I'm gonna be doing something different with this raffia. I'm gonna be taking a piece of the raffia and putting it in the deco mesh and attaching it to the frame. Now we're doing the standard ruffle frame uh, to get started. So of course, as I said, this particular mesh, you're gonna need 18 of these cut in 17 inch strips. And I'm gonna clip the ends uh, just to show you. I found this a little bit easier today um, because it keeps those ends in good and tight. So you roll the ends in and you roll, walk up the middle and then I'm just gonna clip that together till I get my raffia out. Now I just put a few pieces of raffia in it and I think I'm gonna do this for the majority of my fall frames just to give it just a little bit of a more fall look. So we're gonna be doing two on the bottom, which is A and B and one on the top in the center, which is C and D wire. As you know, I always go from the outside to the inside, A, B, C, and D is your wires. You'll have six sections, so you should have three pieces in each section. Now, as I said, I'm just taking a few pieces of raffia and just putting it in there. And it's just something that I'm not gonna have to add later here and there. I like it because I just put a couple pieces in each one. And so then it was all spread throughout the whole wreath. Now, as you see, I'm attaching the first one to A and B. And those kind of go to the side about an inch away from the edge. From that crossbar. Okay, and then you just tighten that down and just cut it off. And I go ahead and cut my zip ties off as I'm going, so that way um, it doesn't get in my way. Now I'm gonna roll the end, and I'm gonna clip it, and that just holds it for me. And then I'm gonna roll the other end, and this just, put those frays inside and then walk up the middle and uh, I came up with the 17 inch cut because that's the size of the mat that I have there so I just cut it that length the bigger ones you can cut them longer actually uh, in hindsight I should have cut these a little bigger or added more mesh because this particular mesh, I don't know if it's because it's got white in it, if it's thinner, I don't know. But normally, if you do it like this, uh, and I'm attaching this one to um, A and B. Normally, if you do it like this, those three pieces of mesh with what I'm gonna do on the crossbars will cover the frame. I could still see it. So I don't know if it's because it's a lighter mesh or what. So I had to go back and do a filler, which was a lot. And even though it was 12 extra pieces of mesh, 
I used um, like tool and it was sticking to the mesh, I will never do that again. So always check with your first one. I really wasn't paying attention to seeing it because normally it covers it, but this particular collar, you could still see the mesh in the background, or I'm sorry, the wire in the background. So I'm gonna fold these ends, clip it, and then just turn it around, fold your ends in, walk up the middle, and clip. Then just grab you a couple pieces of raw pit. It doesn't have to be uniformed. Um, as you see, mine's not. And I think it gives it just a little bit more natural look if they're not uniformed. So just cut a couple pieces. And then I'm going to zip tie that to the frame. And this time, we're going on C and D wire. And it's going in the center of those two. Now, if you do use this, this color or a lighter color and you see that your wire is shining through, just put you another piece of mesh on it. That should handle it. Um, maybe just do like a piece of tube mesh across it would have been fine. Or, I would have cut these longer. I would have did about 24 inches. Or even 30. Because the thicker that is, the less it's going to shine through. Now this right here is my pipe cleaners. I attach them on each crossbar. I go over one crossbar, pull it up the uh, middle, and just give a couple twists. Okay, and you should have six pipe cleaners there. Uh, because there's one on each crossbar. Now, this particular mesh here, uh, you're going to be putting two pieces on each crossbar, and you're just going to roll it in a tube. You're just going to drop them down in there and twist it in. Just give it a couple twists, and then just spread those out into an X. Then, you're going to take the burgundy one, roll it into a tube also, and put it in the middle and give it a couple twists. It's just that simple. Now, as you see, a lot of people will untwist those and put them in. I don't fool with that. I don't know if I'm lazy. I think it's because a lot of times when I do that, they start popping out and I'm psh, not about all that extra work. So I just give it a couple twists and that's it. Now I'm gonna take two of one collar of the ribbons. So we've got two different ribbons there. So this one, we're gonna take two pieces of the same collar, and then we're just gonna twist it in. Just a couple twists. Now this is gonna be the last item you put in there, so you can even give it a few more twists and then you're gonna cut it off. Cause you don't want it, um, you know, falling apart. You don't want it coming apart. So I always give it an extra twist down in there and then cut it off. And you can go back and fluff this out later, or you can fluff it out as you go. But even if you fluff it out as you go, you'll have to go back and do some more fluffing. So sometimes I fluff it out a little bit, and sometimes I just leave it. Now, as I said, when I got done with the wreath, you could see the frame. So I used this tool I got from the Dollar Tree. It's got that little white stuff all over it. Um, it looks like snow or something. Well, here's the thing. That stuff is messy as all get out. Every time you make a cut, that little white stuff is everywhere. Now I'm putting this one on B and C. And I'm putting in between uh, the first one and the middle one, and then the middle one and the last one. Now this stuff stuck to the deco mesh. It was really something to deal with. Uh, looking forward for the future, I would not probably use that again, unless I was in desperate dire straits. 
for a filler, but I would just go back with some more deco mesh, maybe a different color that complements this. So as you see, I got one piece on one side of the metal one and one piece on the other side of the metal one. Um, just to, you know, use it as a filler to keep that frame sh from showing. And it was also hard, you gotta spread those apart, get the zip tie down in there, and then of course it's sticking to the uh, other deco mesh all the way around. So you gotta keep pulling that apart. That was really, really, oh, don't do that. Don't do that to yourself unless you're using it, unless you're doing it as you go so that you don't have to dig down in the middle. If you did it as you went, it wouldn't be that bad, but then you still have the mess from that white stuff. And it didn't really add to it, I don't think, other than hiding the frame. I mean, it gave it a little bit of an orange undertone, but that was it, nothing major. So after that was completed, I just went ahead and went in and did some fluffing to kind of pull everything together. And then to hide those center pieces of those pipe cleaners, what I did is just took a little leaf and put in there. Now, these are not the leaves I showed you. These are some leaves that weren't so bright um, that kind of blended in, I thought, a little bit better. So what I did is I put a leaf in between each one. So you're going to need six leaves. And then, of course, I always fluff as I go. Now, these were real simple to do. You just put a little bit of hot glue on the bottom part of it and then just stick it over top of that pipe cleaner. And then the pipe cleaner's in there still secure. And I did cut them to a point where I could just kind of push it over a little bit so you don't have to worry about it coming apart. Now, as you know, this is my first fall wreath of the season. I've been a little bit under the weather. Um, I pulled my back out uh, about a week ago, and um, yeah, so I really didn't do too much moving, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling a lot better now. Okay, and like I said, just put a little bit of glue on the bottom and just put that in the center. And I usually fluff my bows out and get them the way that I want them, my ribbon, before I put the uh, leaf in there, then that way they're set. And I usually just do those in an X because then it usually gives it some pretty good coverage. Let me know if you like the raffia idea or not. Let me know in the comments if you like the raffia, put in the deco mesh or you like, you know, just going back and putting it in. Everybody does it different. This is just, I don't, I don't think I've seen this anywhere. I think it's just something I come up with. I'm sure somebody else has done it somewhere. As much as, you know, as many YouTube videos that's on YouTube. So I'm sure it's nothing that I come up with. But, um, it just, I, I thought it just made the process a little bit easier. And also let me know, have you decorated for fall yet? Have you started decorating? I have actually, um, I started before my back went out and now I'm getting back on it again. Uh, I like to have everything done before September 1st because I have a lot of stuff to put out. And this year I had some extra things to make and I will be um, showing you that. I took it from the bare necessity. I stripped everything down, uh, took all my summer stuff out and then started putting my fall stuff out. And I'll see if my daughter will let me tape hers because um, she, uh, her living room looks absolutely beautiful. I don't know where she got those pillows, but uh, I'm going to ask her. But she's got some really pretty fall throw pillows um, at her house. Which I think she had to get pillows because uh, her little granddaughter came up here. And was going to take mine off the couch. And she said, I'm going to take these home with me. You know, if you want to go fall shopping, just go to Granny's. That's all. Now, this is um, 
the face I got from Craft Outlet. And if I remember right, it was uh, 550, and this is metal. It does have a hole already pre-punched on the top and the bottom. So what I did with that is I put a pipe cleaner through each one because you're not going to see it with the deco mesh because I'm going to push it down in there to where that covers it. And if you see the hole, just, you know, put a leaf over it or, you know, something. I would take a piece of deco mesh and just glue it to it and you wouldn't see it. And then it'll hold it securely. Uh, normally, I try to put four pieces, you know, like one at the top, one at the bottom, one on this, each side. But this was enough. I mean, it held it really secure. So then just put those down in there. Just put your pipe cleaners down in there. And I put it down in there and then I pulled it pretty tight. So it would kind of sink down in there. And I don't know yet. You could even add a hat. I had some hats from last year when I did one of my fall wreaths, my scarecrow wreath, but which it had legs on it, which I may do another one of those this year. But I had some of those hats left over from last year, so I may add it to this. I don't know yet. We'll have to see in the end how it looks. And if you do that, you could just kind of put it, you know, uh, close to the top of uh, the the head as possible but I think I just kind of like it like this just for something different and of course my other scarecrow didn't have a face but it had the hat but you could tell what it was because it looked like a scarecrow looking down so once I got it where I wanted it what I did was just tighten it down I think here I was actually loosening it up and pulling it down a little bit tighter um, because I wanted it really set back in there. So I did that and I gave it a couple twists when I got it all tight and then um, cut the ends off. Okay, and then I pulled up some of the deco mesh around his face to kind of put it back in there. Now this was the end result. I thought it was cute. Something a little bit different for fall. So anyways, I want to thank y'all for being here today and watching my video. Uh, we really appreciate that around here. And remember, you were born to do great things. So stay strong in the Lord. Don't you ever give up hope. And always take time to pray. It's important. Alright, we'll see you next time. Bye!